driving to lower Piave River. There I will meet my friend Andrea. The river is quite wide there. And there should be big drop. So I hope it will be a great day. Hello. Hello, guys. Andrea. Nice to meet you. He brought me here in this spot. This great spot, this is lower Piave section, big, big trout. Uh, marble trout, round trout, some rainbows and a few graylings. But many marble trout here in Highway? Yeah, yeah. Mostly? Mostly, mostly. Not many browns or...? But maybe 40% uh, brown, 30% poor marble trout and the other 30% uh, uh, hybrid. But most important, no stocked fish. No. All wild, Only all natural. wild, wild, wild marble trout. Good, good. And catch and release. Only catch and release. In this area, you can't use the streamer. You can only fish with dry fly, neve or wet, but no streamer. One fly only? Why fly only, no weight uh, on the line, on the tippet. Uh, oh. You can um, use the strike indicator as well, but um, no streamer. This, the only uh, restriction of this uh, catch and release in a bus. Okay, good, very good. So, let's go, let's start. See, let's fish. Let's fish. Let's, let's fish. fish. <laughs> let's go. Questo è hybrid, big hybrid caught in the net. idea was to fish dry, wait for the hatch and fish dry. There was a hatch, small mayflies, but no rising fish. Just one nice rice and, and nothing else. But fish were active on nymphs, so the solution was fishing with a nymph in these large rivers, when I fish with the nymph, I use a strike indicator. In this case, a New Zealand strike indicator. Uh, the second cast, I, I caught the first fish. Uh, what is really important fishing large rivers with strike indicators is uh, uh, demand and uh, second rule, give line. You can see in this scene here, I give line, give line, give line. The more I give line, the more the strike indicator can drift. So I give line, no drag on the line, very important, and there was a bite. First a good mending and then giving line. These are two very important uh, aspects of nymph fishing with a strike indicator. 
you must be very careful because if you give too much line you will not be ready to set the hook okay so remember giving line without making the strike indicator drag not exaggerating with the giving line or there will be too much slack line and you will not be able to set the hook properly and now let's continue with the unboxing from Germany this product here is very very important because it can save your life this is the rest tube rest tube is a buoy which if you fall into the water into the river into the lake allows you to uh, float it is very very compact and if you pull here the boy will come out and help you and maybe save your life there's a blue version a green version so it should be very easy to use it's a little bit I'm a little bit too fat probably but you can regulate this of course okay ready Here we have it. Okay, we have a second unboxing from Austria. We have the tacky tubes. You can put this on your vest and put your fly here and you will not lose your flies. Tippet holder. Tippet holder, tippet holder. Another tacky from Lou, World Nippers. Good product. Razor scissors. And then the new Ergo Bobbin. Ergo Dabbin brush. I was waiting for the ROG Quick Draw forceps. I think I will keep one for myself. Mm, they have a, a peculiar thing which is this you can put this scissors anywhere right here or your pockets it's so very good if you have to smash your barbs or just to unhook fish Psst. you just can hang these forceps where you want and you sh theoretically should not lose them so unboxing is finished we had great products today too one uh, more than all the others rest tube because remember safety comes first See you next week.